Maurizio Pochettino has endured a difficult first season in charge of Chelsea, but one of the shining lights for the Blues throughout the 23-24 campaign so far has been the emergence of England youngster Cole Palmer. Since the winger's £42.5 million arrival from Manchester City in the summer, Palmer has been nothing short of brilliant. The best way we can show this off is through his numbers. In the league, he's racked up 25 goals and assists in 26 games, which is the third most in the top flight of English football behind only Ollie Watkins and Mohamed Salah. He's become the first Chelsea player to be directly involved in 25 plus goals in a single Premier League season since Eden Hazard's 31 in 1819 and the Blues still have eight games left to play this season. His output becomes even more incredible when you compare it to every single player in Europe's big five leagues, all competitions, direct goal involvements, with Palmer staggeringly coming in at fifth with 34. And it's unimaginable where they would be without his involvement. Out of every single player in the Premier League, he has either scored or assisted the highest percentage of his team's goals in the 23-24 season, with his 25 direct goal involvements being 45.5% of Chelsea's 55 goals. Even more staggering is that out of Chelsea's 44 points that they have won this season, Palmer's 25 goal involvements have directly won his side 20 of those points, almost half of their overall total, with only Mohamed Salah winning more points for his club. And the deeper we dive into the data, the better Cole Palmer gets. He's created 52 chances this campaign, which is the most of every single under-21's Premier League player. So out of all the things going wrong at Stamford Bridge, how has Maurizio Pochettino tactically managed to get the best out of Cole Palmer? We've seen a pretty standard 4-2-3-1 throughout Pochettino's reign so far, with the idea to have a lopsided build-up, meaning they want to put a traditional centre-back at one of the fullback positions to allow them to tuck inside, leaving them the ability to play a natural overlapping fullback, which usually has been Malo Gusto who can get further far within attacking phases. And this leaves Cole Pam with the freedom to tuck inside the right half space, which is where he plays his best football. And whilst the left side of this structure and the central piece of this structure is a mess, the dynamics on the right-hand side have been the most encouraging for Chelsea fans this season. Therefore, it is no surprise that when we look at Chelsea's positional attacking sides graphic, 41% of their attacks are coming down that right side. And despite playing most of his minutes this season as a right winger, Palmer isn't a traditional touchline winger. Because he has that overlapping fullback on the outside of him, Chelsea can form their 3-1-6 in possession, and he likes to narrow and show for the ball more in the narrow channels. And in this position between the lines, he's one of the best players in the Premier League. He possesses the ability to turn on the ball, pick a pass, carry it into the penalty area, or even shoot from range. This is shown from his action maps too. If we look at his heat map, we can see how a large portion of his red zones are coming inside the pitch rather on the byline. And this trademark move in his game has been the key for his chance creating ability, both in the pass and the carry. We can see how the majority of his carries are attacking that narrow channel between the goal and the right side of the box, with also a large majority of his passes coming from that narrow position rather than a traditional wide position. When he cuts inside on that left foot, his ability to play piercing through balls between defenders has proven to be one of his best tools, with only Lucas Paqueta and Martin Erdegaard playing more successful through balls in the Premier League than him this season. And something that's quite interesting about Palmer is his versatility, not just when he's holding the width or coming inside the pitch, but also his ability to drop into the deeper areas of midfield, as he has a good range of passing from these areas. He has the ninth highest successful long pass completion percentage for outfielders in the Premier League, with him having the highest success rate of any player 21 or under. And when you look at his longer ranged passing map from this season, you can see just how deep he's dropping into midfield to complete some of these passes. As shown, Chelsea have a decent enough dynamic when it comes to rotations on the right side. And even though Pochettino persisted with Axel de Sassi at right back for a large majority of the start of the season, Palmer's understanding to pick up the possession and rotate into a much deeper position and play longer range passes through to the player's running behind the high line of the opposition is so good. And for a team with so many direct runners, like Nicholas Jackson, Mikhailo Mudrik, Nani Madueke and Raheem Sterling, it's unsurprising that this method works so well. Palmer has even said himself that he works well both in central and wide positions, having played 10 times through the middle and 17 times off the right so far this season, with the talisman even saying himself that 10 and right wing are his best positions. And when you gel them both together, you get a winger who's been given the freedom to come inside the pitch and play in between the lines. He has that sneaky movement and ability to drift and understand the space he's pulling himself into. Against Manchester United, he was playing down the middle, 
with Mikhailo Mudrik and Raheem Sterling on the either side of him. And we can see how Chelsea have got that right-sided players to their in-possession shape, with the Reds also defending in a 4-1-4-1 mid-block. Palmer sneakily roams in behind the single pivot midfielder of Sofian Amrabat, carries the ball across the box, pushing past a few defenders and setting up the angle beautifully to slot home on his left foot. Pochettino has actually made a brilliant comparison when breaking down Cole Palmer's profile. He's highlighted how his tall frame, left footedness and blend of creativity in the assists and the lethality within his goals is similar to that of the iconic winger Angel Di Maria. Maurizio Pochettino is right. He has that swagger about him, the coolness from the penalty spot, the close control, the flair when moving on the ball, the ability to beat his man 1v1, and he expresses himself the way in which a South American would on the ball. So, where would you rank Cole Palmer amongst the best young players in the Premier League this season?